Okay, in this video, I'll show you guys how to change the water of integrations of this triple integral right here. And we have dz dy dx. And we're trying to get to dx dy dz. So of course, we have to figure out this right here. And in fact, we have four other ways to organize the dy dx and dz, right? The differentials. And the reason that we have a total of six is because for three differentials, we can just do three factorial. That's three times two times one. That's six. So there will be a total of six ways to organize that. But anyway, uh, in this video, I'll just show you guys how to do it with respect to this water. And in the meantime, please pause the video and try this first. Okay, okay. as you all know, the hardest part of doing all this is that we have to be able to visualize the solid that we're talking about. And the reason I say solid is because we have a triple integral, and that's a three-dimensional thing. But it's okay, I'll show you guys how to do it. Um, hopefully the equations, they are not that bad. And I'll show you guys how to do all this by hand, okay? Including the drawing. Anyway, here we go. I will start off with my pass the x-axis right here, and pass the y-axis, and then pass the z-axis. And this is how we will draw the 3D picture, okay? First of all, we have dz. So that means we have z goes from 0 to z equals to 1 minus y. So we don't have any x at the moment, so we can focus on the yz plane, okay? And we see that when we have z is equal to 0, this is the z-axis, z is equal to 0 is right here. But this equation in the space, it's actually the whole plane right here, right? And in fact, that's the xy plane. You can imagine it's just like the room, and this is like the floor of the room. And I'm just going to kind of shade this in to indicate we have pretty much all this. Okay, so I'll just do this kind of things. This right here will represent the whole plane, whole xy plane. And the reason I didn't go to the other side right here is because I noticed there's no negative y value. So I'll focus on this part right here. Now, focus on the y is equal to 1 minus y. That's just like the linear equation on the zy plane, right? And to graph that, okay, we can say when y is equal to 0, z will be 1 minus 0, which is 1. y is equal to 0 is right here, and let's say uh, z is equal to 1 is right here. So we have a first point. And then when y is equal to 1, 1 minus 1 is 0 for z. So let's say the 1 is right here for y, and z is equal to 0 is right here. So that's the second point. Connect the dots. This is just like the equation of the line. I will just connect the dots right here. Except for the fact that if you're talking about x, y, z, like the whole space, it's not just this line. This line actually pops out, right? It's a whole plane, right? It's like a... And then it also go into the wall. And to indicate that, I will just do this for you guys. So pretty much you can just uh, draw a bunch of this parallel line to make it three-dimensional looking, okay? So you pretty much just do all this. So hopefully so far so good. What we have now is the whole floor of a room, and then like uh, another like diagonal cut like that. All right, we're done with that. Now moving on to the dy, and we have this right here. Y is equal to x squared up to y is equal to one. Okay, we are talking about the x y plane now, and you have to kind of just tell your head a little bit to graph y is equal to x squared. As we all know, that's a parabola, but when you graph this. Do it carefully. So I will just kind of once again tilt my head like a, a little bit like this. Uh, because this is the y-axis, this is the x-axis, so the parabola will look like this, okay? Yeah. Something like that. So we start with this parabola, and this is just like the base, okay? The truth is you pretty much make the vertical cut, okay, like like this. So uh, what you can do is you can as I said. Once you have the base on a, on a plane, you can just you know, copy and paste many of this, so you can kind of just make this into a three-dimensional looking picture, okay? It's kind of hard to draw, but hopefully you guys get my idea. Yeah. But anyway, it's going to be cut by this diagonal line in a second. Though. Anyway, here, y is equal to 1. That's nice, because y is equal to 1 on the xy plane is just this line right here. So for the base, we have this parabola, this portion of it. 
And the last part is the best part. It's the easiest part. dx. That means x goes from negative 1 to 1. And that's exactly the intersection right here and right here. This line was y equal to 1. And the curve was y equal to x squared, right? So you know, this right here is exactly if you extend the x-axis back to negative, then this is x equal to negative 1. <laughs> and then when you do it right here, this is when x is equal to 1. Okay? So it's pretty much hold this portion and then like, you know, what exactly am I talking about? Let me do another legitimate picture. So this is how it looks like. First of all, we have this C value goes from 0 to 1. So that's like the height of the solid, right? So I would just draw it like this. And the base is this portion of the parabola. So I would just do like this right here. And then in the back, it looks like this, right? And then remember, this is not like the bottom and the base, the bottom and the top are the same. It's like being cut it like slanted, right? Because of the equation, z is equal to 1 minus y. So to connect the dots, you go from here, and you don't draw a straight line. You draw like a parabola like this way, okay? And then you do like this right here, and we have that line right there. So it's pretty much like this, right? Okay, and we can just color this a little bit. So hopefully you can see this is more three-dimensional looking. So it's this kind of solid. Anyway, here is the work now. We are focusing on x, okay? It's from x to y. So we are looking at the base, look at the x first. As we all know right here, y is equal to x squared. We can just square root both sides. So that means x is equal to plus minus square root of y. And when you are going from x to y, you are looking for this from left to right. In the back right here, this equation Right, this portion of the parabola has the equation x is equal to negative square root of y, right? And then when you look at the front portion, this is the positive version. This is x equal to square root of y. And of course, we'll just label this right here. x goes from negative square root of y up to x equal to square root of y. And that's it for the x values, right? Now, from y to z. Well, well, let's see. Of course, y starts at 0 right here. So that's y equal to 0 right here. And if you look here from y to z, you're looking at mainly this line, right? And this line earlier has the equation z is equal to 1 minus y, right? And then from this equation, we can just move the y to the other side. So we have y equal to we have the 1 and put the z to the other side, so it becomes minus z, like this. So that's pretty much uh, from y is equal to 0 to y is equal to 1 minus z. So that will be right here, y equal to 1 minus z. And lastly, we are looking at dz, right? So that's the z values. And from either picture, you know, this right here was when z is equal to 0, and the height, as I said, it's 1. So this is pretty much it. Z goes from 0 to 1. That's pretty much it. OK, so I'll show you guys this. And hopefully, you guys all like this. And the challenge is that, can you figure out the other ways? For example, maybe I will just leave this to you guys. How would you figure out the integral, 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 if in this case, OK, it's the same situation with the same general function? But I want to have, let's say, dy first, and then dx, and then dz, okay? 